Friends, welcome to Yatnya Investment Academy. In this video, we are going to see what is the book value of a company and what is price to book value ratio of a company. Book value is nothing but net worth. In our financial planning series, we have seen that in case of individuals, net worth is nothing but assets minus liabilities. Now, the same applies to companies as well. But in case of companies, equity capital and reserves get added to this net worth. What is equity capital? Equity capital is face value into number of shares. We have seen this in our face value video. And reserves kept to run the company are also added to the net worth of a company. Book value is an accounting measure and can be seen on the balance sheet of companies. Like you see net profit or sales on the income statement of a company, you can see book value on the balance sheet of companies. At any point in time, book value tells you what is the net worth of a company and hence depreciation of assets is deducted from the value of assets while computing book value. Book value of a company is never known with certainty till actually realized. Like the land owned by the company may become expensive with time or the cost of machinery owned by the company may reduce with time etc. Book value divided by total number of shares gives you book value per share of a company. Now why is it calculated? Now if a company decides to shut down, book value per share is the amount of money each share would be entitled to. Book value per share is useful when you compare it with the market value of the stock. How do you compare it? You compare it via price to book value ratio where price is nothing but market cost of the stock and book value is nothing but book value per share. Let us take an example to understand this better. Let us assume there is a company with equity capital equal to 20 crore. Assets minus liabilities of this company is 60 crore. Market price of the stock of this company is rupees 40 and there are total 4 crore shares of this company. The book value per share would thus be calculated as 60 crore plus 20 crore divided by 4 crore gives you a value of 20. Now this is book value per share. When you divide the market price of this share by book value per share, you get price to book value ratio. The ratio has been calculated equal to 2 here. Whenever the price to book value ratio is equal to 1, it implies that the market price of the stock is equal to book value per share. So at this point in time, if the company decides to wind up, you're bound to get the current market price of the stock for each stock you hold. So whenever the price to book ratio is less than 1, it is said that it is a good time to buy the stock is undervalued. But here, before buying such a stock, you should analyze why the stock is trading at a price lesser than its book value. And hence, a stock with low price to book value ratio may not always be a good buy. And so, analyzing other parameters here become important. Price to book value ratio can be used to compare companies within same industry where accounting methods are same. Price to book value ratio is more useful to value stocks where earnings are negative and hence P ratio is not applicable. So here you can use price to book value ratio to analyze such stocks. It is not useful where assets are less like in the service sector etc. So friends that's all on this topic. Hope the video has been useful. Thanks for watching this video. Watch this space for more such topics. If you have any questions, do let us know in the comment section below our videos. And if you like our videos, please do subscribe and share. And before we end, we want to let you know that you can create your free financial plan on our new portal that is investyatnya.in. So please try it out. And another thing, you can buy our first book which is a collection of 108 questions and answers on mutual funds and SIP on Amazon, Flipkart, etc. And the link to buy the same is mentioned in the description of this video. So see you in another video. Until then, happy investing.